Okay, we're working with a Dell Slim Tower computer, it's also known as the Low Profile. I'm going to show you how to take out the existing DVD-ROM or CD-ROM drive and put in a new one. So first, make sure the computer is turned off and there's no power sources hooked up to the computer. Lay it on its side. Well, first, on the top here, if you pull the, it pops off the side. So this come right off. So this right here is the DVD CD-ROM. If we pull up on this level or lever, it'll help pop it out. So pull up, and you can pull it right out. Okay. There are only two Phillips, small Phillips here. It's a Phillips one size, size one. They are very small, so be careful not to lose them. Okay, so once we got those two Phillips screws out, it will pull right out of its sleeve here. And then we can unattach the cable, it just pulls right out. Okay, so there's the DVD-ROM or CD-ROM. Now to put the new one back in, just grab your replacement. It is easier to plug the cable in first due to the casing. So we'll plug that cable in first, nice and tight. It's only going in one way. Hmm? Yeah, it will only go in one way. So don't force if you're forcing it, you probably have it upside down. Yes. So it should slide right in without any forcing. Now on one side of the sheet, there are some small little notches. And those two small notches on the opposite side of where the screws were will fit into screw-like holes on one side. So we ought to line those up. Once those are in, it'll slide right in. And then your two screw holes should match up with the threading. And again, these are small. Okay, once you have both of the screws tightened in there, just make sure the CD-ROM is facing upright correctly. And you just have to place it. It might help to pull up the lever here. Once you have it set there, you just push it forward and it'll snap right into place. Just like that. Then to put the case back on, the bottom of the case has three grooves on it and they match up with hinge-like metal pieces sticking out of the bottom of the PC. Just going to line those up and it will fall right into place and it will snap in. Plug it back in, power it on and it will be working.